You've got perfect hair. Oh my god. Get out. <laughs> you do. Here. Well, you do. Nice curls. Oh, you're so kind. Thank you. <laughs> you think I'm being kind? You. No. I think you're telling the truth. I am. I think you tell the truth the way you play that instrument. Because that instrument in you is one. Well, thank you. And that's truth. And now it's time to open the show. You ready? I'm ready. Here we go. Thank you all for stuff. Oh! No, the most important word, halo. And thank you all for stopping, looking, and listening in our divine appointment here today on another episode of Angels Talk. That's right, right here, right now. I am here. Peter, don't be scared. I'm not going to hurt you. I know. <laughs> this is so much fun because I'm in a soul relationship with the one, the only one, Mr. Peter Fletcher with his guitar at the number one access station in the nation. It's a long opening, isn't it, Peter? It is, but it's good. It is good, and I'm very excited to be here and to be part of you and your beautiful performance, which I termed as a whole world of a privilege to me and an honor for you to be here today. Well, thank you. You're quite welcome, and thank you for deciding to stay after to talk with us about this. Well, it's a pleasure. Yeah. I, I, you know what I did, Peter? I took notes. Ladies and gentlemen, this green sheet is Peter's program of today's uh, performance, and I took notes during your performance. What do you I, think I can, about I can that? see that. I'm very flattered that you did that. Well, you know, Peter, it was like a journey to me from, from start to to finish. And the first line that I wrote was, this is a star, a star soul angel and one of the most highest touches that he's here to greet us with today that I've experienced. Wow. That's pretty heavenly. Yeah, right here in Fort Wayne, Indiana. What do you think about that? I, I'm um, very, very impressed. Well, very, very <laughs> gracious that, um, that uh, you feel this way. Well, it's the truth. And another thing, last night before I went to bed, I want everyone to know that I prayed. And you, young man, are a living answer to my prayer today. Well, that's wonderful. It is. And so I have so much inspiration to share with everyone out there. Um, throughout the show today, I will insert some of the music that you graced us with. And Good. in between, I want to know a few answers. Okay. Right. I, I can tell you. No, I, I, I realized I, I realized I was sitting with, with Sandra Lynch. I could feel the energy. Yes, I could too. But ladies and gentlemen, this young gentleman beside me, he is so diverse in his repertoire of this program. I mean there were, what, 10 sections that you performed today? Right. Yes, tell everybody. Is that right? Yeah. Well, it, right, there were 10 sections. It, it kind of ran the gambit from Renaissance lute music to, um, to Baroque music all the way to uh, music that was written today, just a few years ago. Like 1562. Right. That's yeah. where John Dolan? Mm -hmm. John Dowland. Dowland. Excuse me, it's all new to me, you know, in our soul relationships here. Right. Yeah. Right, yeah, he's a wonderful composer, composed for the lute, the Renaissance lute. And one of the pieces, the Queen Elizabeth, her galliard, I tuned my G string down to an F sharp to be consistent with the Renaissance lute. Hmm, where is that on here? Oh, I didn't make that note on there. Okay. Did you tell everybody through the show that you did that? No, no, I didn't. I didn't mention that, but uh, it was a little bit of tuning going on during that set of four pieces by John Dallin, all written for the Renaissance lute. 
Well, yes, because you are from the Renaissance period, now in the 20th century, right? <laughs> You're playing all that music. Well, I, I, that's possible, I'm sure. <laughs> what do you mean that's possible? You just gave us a whole full hour and a half of your precious moments and your touch with your instrument. Well, I'm interested in your notes. Could we? Could, I'm, I'm uh, in some of them. I just want, I'm interested in what you wrote down. Well, what I wrote can down. I, can here, I be privy to? All, I want you to know. I wrote here that Peter represents faith. Oh. You've had to have so much faith right. since the age seven. Right. Right. To spend so, how many hours would you say that you you have spent playing? Oh, I on have guitar? no idea. Uh, no, no earthly idea. When I'm not on tour, I usually practice about five or six hours a day. Um, and then some days, not at all. It's always different. And then on tour, it's, it's a little bit less just because of logistics and traveling and checking into motels and things. Speaking about your tour, I went to your rep website today. Ladies and gentlemen, I had 45 minutes to prepare for what I am about to show you in some of Peter's work. And when I went to the website, I was shocked because if, you, if any of you go there, which is www.peterfletcher.com, you'll see on his press, is it on the press, or on the schedule uh, aspect, that Peter is booked through 2005, right? Right, actually um, 2006. 2000, well, <laughs> maybe I stopped. I noticed that on February 14th, you're in the Pennsylvania area. That's North right. Amber, Northumberland, and that's, that's right. my home. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's well, my home. Well, how about that? Yeah. yeah. That's amazing. But more than that, ladies and gentlemen, you are booked a lot at libraries. Right. How did that happen? Um, well, I, I, it's a, a lot of my performing now is at libraries, and, and some libraries have concert series and programs where they feature classical music. So um, it's, it's been uh, very wonderful doing them over the last couple of years. Peter, may I include something here today about libraries? Absolutely. In what I'm doing, I found out that libraries will get you through times of little or no money versus money will get you through times of having no libraries. Mm -hmm. Younger, I just wanted to play. I didn't think too much about the future. You didn't think to, you were in the now, present. Too. I was. I was in the thin. In the thin. What <laughs> then, back that mean? then, I was in the now. I guess. Yeah. <laughs> because it was then. It's no longer now. But yes, I was in the now. Yes. I have an off-the-wall question for for you right here, right now, Peter. 
What's your description of transformation? My description of transformation, in what sense? Well, in the sense, I wrote this down. Um, for instance, do you know anyone or any extraordinary cases of transformation? Yeah, I, I uh, mean, personally? Well, if you want to share, uh, give yourself permission, Peter. Transformation. There's a reason for my madness here today in asking this question. Trust me. Go with this flow, Peter. <laughs> Transformation. Yes. Um, and well, don't it's, look at my love no, notes no, here. No, I won't. It's not something that happens all the time, but when it does, it's something very special. Yeah? Yeah. Is that in a personal sense that you're sharing in this case here, Peter? Uh, I think so, yeah. Well, one of the things that I noticed on your website was a paragraph about that interpretation of transformation. And it was indicated that transformation is something that one is not. Does that ring any bells to you? That transformation is one that's not. Yeah. The, and how I grasp it was all throughout all of the different composers that you've reflected today was that they were from so many worlds. So what you have done, I'm going to use you in the case study right here, right now, Peter. What you have done is you, your soul reflected each and every one of those composers and did something that was abnormal, that was not, as a part of them. Is that making sense to you? Yeah, yeah, that does make sense. I don't compose at all. I mean, I compose a little bit on my own, and I do some um, improvising. But, but I, on a professional level, I, I don't compose music, and I, I guess I see myself as kind of an exponent for these composers. Well, that exponent was a transforming experience for me today because... Yeah. You brought out the reality of all of these other composers. Right, right. Well, that's, I'm, I'm um, glad that, the, that you feel that this was successful, that it worked today. Yeah, it did. And now I understand if any one of you go to that website and read this and see some of the things, that, uh, see some of his work here in a few moments, you'll understand this transformation because I went through it. I went through it that I couldn't even clap at the end of each performance. Well, thank you. What did you think about that? Did you see me out there sitting out there in the audience? I, I, I did, yeah. I, I've um, noticed that um, you usually didn't clap. I did notice that. Would you mind if we took our audience into a segue to show them one of those performances? Absolutely. Let's do that right now. Okay. Right now. Okay. Shift. <laughs> Yeah. No.
break? No. Well, how am I doing? Uh, you're am doing. I, am I stiff or? No. Yeah, okay. kind of, but you're coming around. All right. Well, having to hold this so, instrument is probably. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, having to hold this is. Cool. I like the reality of it. I yeah. like the you. Okay. I like the you in this. The you and the now. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to, trying to be in the now. You are. You're in it. Good. I, I seem like I'm doing a lot of talking, but that's okay. Okay. You know, it's bringing it around. Okay. Because you know what, uh, and and I was thinking of this in, when I was in the audience that you know a lot of your playing, it, you do more playing than you do public speaking, and it's right. not something that you know is comes easy to you. So I would expect this. How was my public speaking in the concert? Absolutely on. Was it okay? Yeah, you're a class act. Let's do some more. Okay. Sit up here. All right. <laughs> here we go. Peter, well, oh, thank. Oh, what's what? Pardon me. Cancel that. Shift. What do I want to say? Wasn't that awesome? Cut. Thanks, Scott. Just, just to our outstanding yes. angel assistant out there. <laughs> Libraries are filled with inspiration of angels. Did you know that? I do know. Yeah. Wasn't that awesome, ladies and gentlemen? My heart's palpitating. Which one are we going to show next? Well, what's your favorite? They're all your favorite. I I, I don't like to play favorites. Oh. Uh, they're all on there because um, because it's music that's very dear to me. They are all very dear and peaceful. <laughs> Afro-Cuban lullaby. <laughs> 